So it's the 28th of October and there's supposed to be a big storm coming. Uh, it's a bit calm at the moment, so we'll make the most of it. Going out and check the sheep this morning. And uh, a couple of days ago on the 26th, I put uh, one ram, which is Clarkey, in with 22 ewes. And the reason that I've done that now, which is a couple of weeks earlier than I would normally do, is uh, to get some to get these ewes. I'm planning on selling these ewes with their lambs. So that's why I've put the ram in with these ewes before the rest, so they're a bit older. Uh, and I'm, I'm planning, if everything goes to plan, to sell them in May. And they should land, hopefully, if I got my dates right, around about the 16th or 17th of March. So that's when these, these 22 U should land. And uh, there's the ram. And this, this field that they're in now is actually uh, barley harish. Um, we took barley off of here in September, about six weeks ago. And uh, there's a bit of regrowth, uh, and I just put the sheep in just to tidy it up a little bit. So I haven't sold uh, ewes with lambs on them before. I, I normally sell breeding ewes not in lamb in May. Uh, this year the sale was cancelled, so I couldn't sell them, uh, and I've ended up having to keep them, uh, which is okay, but it increases our numbers uh, by 20 or 30 that uh, we weren't expecting, and we're going to take those through the winter uh, instead of trying to sell them now. And I think that we'll be okay with that. We've got enough feed. Uh, we really don't know what the market for sheep is going to be next year with everything that's going on. You know, the, the virus and uh, leaving the EU. And we don't know what the sheep market, lamb market uh, is going to be next year at all. Whether there's going to be export, whether there's not going to be export. Whether the price will crash or the price will go through the roof. We have no idea. We have to sort of hedge our bets a little bit and calculate and roll the dice basically and see what happens but that's farming and they uh, sniff in the air that's what the rams do they put the top lip up sniff the air he can catch the scent that he likes he'll move in and get the job done uh, but just by uh, just by observing here i think these three ewes are, are all pretty receptive at the moment. Uh, I think he's got his, got his eye on this one at the moment. Um, don't know if he's going to uh, going to perform for the camera, but uh, we don't normally have any problems at this time at this time of year with the uh, ewes getting in land. Um, I've got a video of earlier this year where we ended up with 13 ewes lambing from a, a ram who, who got in with the, all the ewes for just a couple of hours and he managed to get round and have that many. So yeah, he's definitely got a couple of a couple of ewes interested. Job done.